So for those of you guys wanting a little update on little Miss Mess, she is doing good. Um, we have to put her leg brace on for the day. We haven't gotten it on yet, but she gets around just fine. And uh, this is Chatty Cat. And Chatty Cat just showed up this last fall, and she's very friendly, but she hates the other cats, and she hates the dog. But she's good with the chickens and the goats. So, I guess that that's good. And we would allow her in the house, but she has a meltdown on the other cats and hisses at them and she doesn't like the dog. So, we feed her and she has a little bed set up outside in one of the buildings and she seems pretty happy. But this little one, she actually gets around really well, but we have to get her leg brace on. It helps her get around during the day and then we take it off at night. So. And she is a month old today. And I was thinking, oh, she's gonna be a month here soon. And then I realized it's been a month. And here pretty soon, she's still in the house. Um, and she comes outside with us during the day. But we are going to start moving her out to the barn because we have two little goats who uh, are not nursing on their mom. Their mom likes them. They like her. There's like a bond there, but they're not, there's just something missing. They won't suck. So one of them will take a bottle and one of them we're still trying to get to take a bottle, but she's just being too fed right now. So she'll have some little companions to hang out with. Okay, you guys, so I haven't shown you much of the garden this year because, well, it's had some failures, we'll put it that way. But I did want to run out here and show you guys. I'm switching the um, hose over to the next row of brassicas because it is 100 degrees in the shade right now. It is toasty out here. So I'm trying to keep everything watered and I have a mole that keeps running along this row of cabbages and Brussels sprouts and whatnot. And so they are all looking wimpy. But one of the things that is making me incredibly happy this year are these dahlias. And I started these from seed. And they, um, the seed came from Florette Flower Farm, I think is what their name is. Um, and it's called the Bee's Choice. And let me tell you, these are just loaded with bees, all different types of bees. Um, and some of them are really quite beautiful. The flowers, like I really, these over here, um, I have picked so many of these flowers and they are so beautiful. I just think they're wonderful. And this plant in particular has a whole bunch of flowers on it. Um, some of them are a lot more simple, like this one. But the thing is, is that um, all of them have just been loaded, loaded with bees. Um, and then this one, this is a little bit of a different look. So I started these this winter and then on June 1st, after getting all of my tinder stuff planted, we woke up to a um, killing frost that took these down to the ground. And my peppers and eggplants and um, a lot of other things. But it has just been so impressive to see how they have come back. I like this one, the back of the petals is actually darker. Oh, we have a breeze, it's making stuff tolerable out here. Whew. And I'll save quite a few of these because as, you know, I started them from seed but they'll form tubers. Like this one, I'm not overly impressed with the flowers, but I'm just leaving it for the bees. And then this one, this one is so gorgeous. When the flowers first come out, they're almost neon. I don't know if the camera is really picking up the color, but it is so gorgeous. And these red ones here came from our friends Chuck and Jenny. Um, 
And these, I have picked a bunch of these and taken them in the house and they are so prolific. And they are just beautiful. Um, I actually used one of these to pollinate another one that we have over by the house. I know the other one is called Advance and it's like a peachy and yellow one. So I wanna start having my own um, dahlias. And I was gonna use one of the, the kind of the brighter pink flowers. Um, but when I came out looking for pollen, the bees had collected it all already. And then I have some sad little zinnias and a couple cosmos here. And then farther on, I finally got my dahlia tubers planted up. And they're kind of scattered around here and there. Um, so I'm hoping we'll have a long enough growing season that they will uh, have a chance to grow. And then my tomatillos got frosted completely to the ground. And I actually picked a container of tomatillos yesterday and they are just loaded. And normally the bees are just humming on these. Um, it kind of sounds like they're swarming. Oh, there's a honeybee in there. But the bumblebees are normally what we have a lot of. Let's see. Some more sad looking brassicas. I'll get them watered too. And all this stuff was watered yesterday, but I'm having problems with moles. And then I planted 125 different pepper plants. As you can see, there's a partial row and then there's another row beyond it that goes all the way down to the end. And these were frozen to the ground. They were little stumps. And now, look at this. I am so happy with them. I have done several pickings of these shishitos already this year. And, um, it's, oh, that's a bell pepper. I think I did shishitos and then the shishitos are on the other side of this because I zigzag on the row on the leaky hose. But look at that. Look at how absolutely loaded with peppers that is. And these were little stumps. No leaves, nothing on the ground. I am just so thrilled with them. So if you ever have plants that freeze to the ground, just keep in mind, give them time, water them, give them food and they will rebound. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the sun uh, and go back, but I just had to run out here and switch my leaky hose. Oh, and then these cabbages here. Um, I have a purple pointed one. Oh, why well, can't, and I can never remember its name and then it comes to me later. Anyway, the, the seed came from Territorial Seed Company, and it starts with a K. Um, and then these green ones here are bobcats, and we have harvested a few. And after I planted these, I had some chickens break in here and eat these down to just ribs. And I thought that they were gonna be goners, but as you can see, they have plumped up nicely, and we have some beautiful cabbages here. So, oh, okay. I'm gonna get out of the sun. Okay, and here is the dahlia that I was telling you about that I crossed with that darker red. Um, I did two flowers. I did that one and this one. Oh, there's a bee in there. Anyway, because I thought that, that would be really pretty with just a little bit more pinkiness to it. Um, some of the flowers on this one, it's called Advance, are a lot more yellow, and I really like the, um, the peachiness to it. Anyway, I'm just having fun and seeing, seeing what I get. And then over here, this is a um, dahlia that we got from Home Depot a couple years ago. I don't remember its name. Anyway, and I crossed this one with the red too. But it does look like we've got some bees here who might have been uh, helping me with the pollination. <laughs> 